Hey guys, here's your game today, and today we are talking about a bit of a controversial topic. We are talking about Godzilla 2014 versus Shin Godzilla. Yes, I have seen Shin Godzilla. Um, you've, if you see my review, then you know what I think about it. Also, I also want to start talking about this because you know, I've seen these animations, and they're actually really good animations. I'll link them down below. And, well, it didn't. Uh, and I'm going to analyze everything. I'm not just going to say who would win just because of no facts. I'm just going to say a who would win like the most, who would have a higher chance of winning. Now, I know both can kill each other. One's not going to always beat the other, but who would win most times in this kind of fight? Also, uh, I got a bit more information thanks to... Um, Thanks to someone else actually helping me out and giving me a bit more information on this topic. So, I'll also leave a link to their channel below. Okay, so first we're going to analyze their... We're going to talk about their attacks, weaknesses, disadvantages, advantages... Or, well, weakness or disadvantages, but just disadvantages, um, advantages, and how the fight would play out. So attacked, well, we'll start with Shin Godzilla, he's on the uh, left here. Shin Godzilla, his attacks are mostly ranged attacks, um, as he's got the um, atom atomic lasers, as I call them, since they're not atomic breath, they're atomic laser, he can shoot them from the tail, back, and um, mouth. Mouth, and that's really all he has. Now let's 2014 attacks, they're melee and range. One range being atomic breath and mostly being melee, um, would, which would be his strong point as he could do melee attacks and we'll talk about that all later. Um, now we're going to talk about disadvantages, or I mean, advantages. Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla has the advantage of the inst evolution he can evolve to be able to combat. Godzilla 2014, he has the instant evolution where he can change, and that's also a bit of a weakness. While he is evolving, Godzilla 2014 can attack, and that would could leave Shin with a lot more damage as his. It's like shedding, you know, the after like I say, scorpion or snake sheds its skin is not going to be as it's still soft, so he can be totally vulnerable and be able to be susceptible to real amounts of damage if Godzilla 2014 main line hit. So, but yes, he could evolve, but 2014 could also, you know, he could evolve to fly, but, I mean, 2014 fought the Midos. Sure, the male Midos was the same size, but he knows how to fight flying creatures, and he's going to fight Ghidorah. So, it's more like, flying ain't going to help him in this situation, Godzilla in this situation. But it could play a major factor. Now we're talking about the advantages of Godzilla 2014. He's faster, stronger, and can do melee attacks. Um, and, well, since he's essentially faster than Shin Godzilla, and he has arms unlike Shin Godzilla, who can't he who can't use his arms for melee, and it's mostly ranged attacks. While Shin may be bigger, but it is I mean look look how many. Bigger doesn't mean anything in Godzilla universe. Look at Mecha Godzilla or King Ghidorah. Both are bigger than Godzilla in general, but he still kills them. So, yes. And his atomic breath may or may not be stronger, depending. Depending what, as we'll talk about why I say his atomic breath may or may not be stronger, but it was definitely not as bad as in the movie. And we'll talk about that later. So now we're talking about disadvantages. Disadvantage is for Shin would be that he's slower. He can only do one type of attack um, and he leaks radiation and he has to freeze up after using his atomic lasers. So if he were to use them, he better make them count or else he'll have to freeze up given 2014 a huge, huge advantage over Shin. Be able to blast him with his atomic breath constantly. Oops. No, I don't want to share. Constantly. So, let me, I'll just tap it every once in a while. See? No. Okay, so, next. 
um, disadvantages for Godzilla 2014. Um, it's hard to say. He really doesn't really have one. He has a weakness. He doesn't have a disadvantage. As he's mostly, he's faster, he's stronger. I think the only disadvantage he would have is that he can't evolve or change like Shin Godzilla can. Now, weaknesses. Shin Godzilla. Um, it would be that he leaks radiation and that uh, he, uh, his back is a weak spot. What I mean by leak radiation is a weakness, well, he can't absorb that radiation, but Godzilla 2014 can. That would essentially make him stronger, and he would be able to get faster, stronger, he would basically get better as he feeds off Shin Godzilla's radiation. Shin Godzilla feeds off pollution, not radiation. As 2014 say in the movie, he feeds off radiation, so while Shin Godzilla is leaking radiation into the ground, Godzilla 2014 would be absorbing it and being, getting stronger at the same time while he's combating Shin. Um, weaknesses for Godzilla 2014 would be the gills, as he was shot there by a tank and they, it, it, he was damaged. Now people say his back would be damaged too, would be weakness too since he hit building her and the building did not hurt him. It wasn't a moan of pain. It'd be more like, come on, seriously? You know, like you're just playing that game in this one, like you just got it done doing something and then, like playing or playing Minecraft and then, I'll use that symbol. You're playing Minecraft, you just got it done building something and then a creeper comes along, it blows up, you're like, come on, seriously? <sighs> Yeah, it's like one of those moments. It's just more like you just got done doing something and then building falls on top of you. It's like, come on, seriously? I just got done doing this and you're gonna do this to me. But, okay, moving on. Um, so that's weaknesses. We talk about disadvantages, advantages. So right now, 2014 is more equipped for this fight. But she needs to look at also evolve. So how the fight would play out? Let me make sure we're not over time. No, okay, we still got eight minutes to go. Yeah, it's the second time. I can't go past 15 minutes, so. How would the fight would play out? Well, Shin Godzilla would have to be very, very careful on what he does. One wrong move, and Godzilla 2014 can easily dominate the fight. As he's got serious, as he's got sheer power and strength. Now, before we talk in the fight, I need to talk about Godzilla 2014's atomic breath. Now, it wasn't as weak in the movie. Now, people say it's the weakest when actually in reality it is not. It's stronger. As stated by directors in the film script, it was EMPs weaken his breath. So that why that's why it was so weak and didn't do any damage. So as moves EMPs, it weakened his breath. Now the now if Shen Godzilla can evolve we have EMP, then Shen 2014 can't do anything except push him around and well Shin Godzilla's hide is thick also but if you were to pierce him in the back then that would be the only way he could do it pierce him so now so for the sake of this video I'm gonna make it to 2014 estimate that 2014 breath is like 2002 2003 scar Godzilla it's his, it's not going to be the strongest time of breath, but sure, it's not going to be the weakest, so it's in the middle. It's a good place to put it. If you pick the Heisei or Final War, that's just too powerful, it would easily annihilate Shin. Um, so you gotta pick a breath that's not too powerful, not too weak. I would say 2003-2002, Godzilla, would be the best choice. It wasn't the weakest, but wasn't the strongest either. So, now back to the fight. Now we're going to talk about Shin Godzilla. How oh, Shin Godzilla could win if he hits him in the gills, if he were to, he would, if he were to, um, fire his atomic laser at the right time, at the right place, he could probably do some serious damage. The only problem is, even though we don't know how it would face on Kaiju's skin, I'm gonna say it wouldn't be very effective. It's a concentrated beam, and, you know, Concentrated beams do have a hard time cutting through things as well Yes, there's a lot of power behind them, but depending but they're used to cut really really tough things and it takes a while to do that so In 2014's hide is very tough So it would take him a bit of time to cut through and he would have to sit in one position 
Now you say he could use his tail, tail um laser also, but I mean that'll be more like swishing around. It, it wouldn't do nothing. It's in the air flying. It's he can't pinpoint it. I say, it's sure you can aim, you can swing your tail. It's sure you can swing the tail, but there's no real way of telling if he's going to manage to hit something. So even though he he can't truly, no creature can really aim their tail. You can take a swing. And sure, you can somewhat aim, so where he can somewhat aim it, but it's not going to be as a great aim as you, as you know, people say. So, what could happen for how it does? And well, he would have to be very careful when he does. If he's not careful, as I said before, this 2014 can easily dominate the fight. And he, and if his atomic lasers fail. On multiple collisions, he would either have to go cool down in water, which him being slow, he wouldn't be able to make in time. So that way, he would have to freeze up. Given 2014, as I said, for a huge advantage, being able to dominate the fight and essentially wreck Shangazel. Now, thanks to all these facts, now a clear, decisive winner is hard to say, depending on which way the fight go. So, nor I wouldn't. Well, I used. Just put 2014, 70% time and win. Shin Godzilla, 30. We'll get into new facts and information that I have. I'm going to put the fight 50 50. I mean, 50% of the time, 2014 win, 50% of the time, Shin Godzilla can win. It just depends. Yes, Shin Godzilla will be weak in radiation and I'll be buffing up 2014, but if 2014 ain't careful, Shin Godzilla could, you know, annihilate him. He can annihilate Shin Godzilla. But how Godzilla 2014 could win is he'd have to use his strength and power, and he'd have to use his quick moves and strength in order to attack and basically demolish Shin Godzilla. He would have to prevent him from firing his atomic lasers at all costs, and then if Shin Godzilla would freeze, he can easily fire his atomic breath, do some damage, you know, ram Shin into things, knock him into buildings, it, it, it was just, he would have to use all of his melee and strength to be able to essentially try to be able to annihilate Shin. But it would be hard for him. It would also be hard for Shin since he, all he is is ranged attacks and for him to really truly work, it was either to fire him in the gills, fire him in the mouth, or, or he would have to fire him far enough away that way they still hit. Then when 2014 is coming at him, he can still be fired. But if it moves, it's not going to do too much damage. So we're 50-50. Both can kill each other. It would be very hard, very, it's very hard to say the winner. I would say they can, it's be 50-50. It, it's no way. I mean, sure, you can say 60-40 because, you know, the, or, you know, 55-45. Because, you know, radiation's buffing up to 2014, that would make him a bit stronger, so I would change it to 50, 55, no, yeah, 55, 45, only by a little bit, but still, it's still close. Well, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!